Spain is always great. You know, we went back to Caceres and Trujillo to cover off essentially King's Landing and its immediate surrounds. And I think those cities brought life to it. And you sense that there's a whole world there that's living and breathing at the feet of the Red Keep. Coming to Spain, suddenly you're on these sets and your disbelief is suspended and you are in Westeros. When you go to Spain, you're hit by big skies, bright sunshine, and beautiful old stonework. And I think the history is ingrained in the wood and the stone of a place, and that just influences you. You can't help it. Spain was so beautiful. It does all the acting for you. Being in environments like that, you don't really have to pretend. Caceres in Trujillo has always been very welcoming. And we also understand that the place itself is part of the production. So the value that it brings, it's not only what you're seeing on screen, but it's also the environment you're creating behind and that the crew feels it. <laughs> to shoot on real locations has the feeling of reality, of course, but it's more the smell, the feeling, the nature that's around you. There are all these elements that you have to play with. So when you see it on screen, all of these sensations come forward as well. I got to go to Spain, which was really cool, especially seeing as we were using the real architecture of Casaras, because you're like, wow, places like this do really exist. These locations elevate the screen value of the show tremendously, and I think that was also one of the big discoveries of Game of Thrones, actually, where the producers saw that the perfect combination on screen is the combination of something real with enhanced CGI or art department. But these sets would never be the same without the real backdrop. Shooting in Spain was surreal because, for a start, the town that we were shooting in feels like somebody dropped lots of buildings on top of each other with staircases connecting them. And the set is just, it's just there. The other thing about Spain was the locals were phenomenal. I've been on some big shows, but I've never seen a fan base like this. The people of Castro's and Trio were fantastic. We were very much welcomed. I was told that up to 60% of our extras appeared in season one. So there's a real groundswell of support, which is wonderful to go back and experience. When they went to Spain, I know they used a lot of locals, and that's so important, because I think if you're going to shoot in a place, and take something from it. You really want to give back to that community. And I think that's what we do really well on our show. In Trujillo, we had more than 300 extras. Here in Cáceres, we have an average of 150 to 200 extras per day. And the logistics behind that is tremendous because you have to fit them beforehand. Fitting 300 people with an average of 30 people per day with costume, makeup, everything, in itself is, uh, you know, a TV show. Spain is a perfect spot for a production like House of the Dragons because of the hospitality of the people. No matter what you come with, they're open to listening, and that's what they have been doing on this show, and they'll be very happy to make it happen in the future as well.